Get off it. Watch out for well, everyone! I'm coming in hot! Oh. Ouch! Hell yeah! That was fun as owls! I'm doing it again! Tyrone, I have told you multiple times to stop sliding down the stairs in the laundry basket. You're gonna hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. No, trust me, I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been doing it since I was a little kid. No, I'm not going back and forth with you on this. We're already running late. The restaurant closes soon. Babe, we're running late. The restaurant closes soon. Yeah, I literally just said that. Okay, well, hurry up. I've been ready to go. What are you doing? I have to finish putting on my makeup. Just get my mom and the kids in the car. Ouch! Tyrone. Stop! No! Oh my gosh. Babe, please, I need your help. And I have no clue where your mom is. I'm right here, sugar buns. What the? I'm just waiting on my boyfriend, Officer Lennard, to get here. Then I'm ready to go. I did not invite him to go to dinner with us. I know, I did. Marjorie, stop inviting random people to hang out with us. He's not random. He's my boyfriend, and we're in true love. Now stop being jealous. There's plenty of me to go around. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, that's him calling. Hold on. Hello there, you sweet and salty caramel mocha bacon booty biscuit. Are you close yet? Yes, as, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm here, but, uh, but, but, but I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh yeah, that's no problem, sweetie. Just come on inside. We'll wait for you. Why would you say that? No, I'm not trying to wait for anybody else. Hey, you will wait for my boyfriend to make poopoos or peepees. All you care about is shoving crab cakes in your mouth with little to no regard about my boyfriend's explosive bowel movements. Oh, God. Oh, okay, maybe it was a bad idea to have a shot of espresso, shrimp alfredo, and a gallon of eggnog before dinner. Oh, I really hope I can make it to the bathroom. Okay, he's about to walk in. Then we can leave once he's out of the bathroom. Fine. Is he going to use the door this time? Please, tell him to come through the front door. Okay, I'll tell him. Oh! He's already in the house. Yeah, I see that. Officer Leonard, please, when you come to my house, use the door. Mm, yeah, I, I just don't like to use doors because people can, can set up booby traps. Uh, it, it can be unsafe. Yeah, well, it's a lot safer than jumping through the window. I promise you that. Mm, okay, well, I, I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, oh, ouch! Oh, hey, Officer Leonard. What the hell is up, my man? Oh, uh, uh, hey, uh, hi there. Why do you look all sweaty and greasy? Oh, oh, no, 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 no reason. Uh, hey, hey, I'm, I'm just, just gonna step over here real quick. I, I, I gotta make a quick phone call. As soon as he's off his phone call, we leave, and I mean it. Matthew, I want you to know I'm wearing my good dentures tonight, so you and I can share a plate if you want to. Marjorie, that is the stupidest thing I've... Babe. Can we please just leave your mom here? We're not just gonna abandon her like that. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying, you know, like, can we just knock her out and then while she sleep, we take off? Ooh, dreaming about me sleeping again, are ya? No, not at all. Grandma, you better quit messing with my daddy. Well, Boogie, you better quit messing with my grandma. Tyrone, don't mess with your baby sister. Hey, Matthew, you wanna mess with me? Shut up, okay, that's it. I'm getting in the car and I'm leaving. I'm tired of waiting. Wait! Holy smokes! I think I really have to pee bad we oh, man. Okay, fine, go, but you got three minutes and I'm serious. Okay, holy moly, holy moly. Babe, I really need you to work on your patience. We have been trying to leave for over an hour now. I think I'm about to lose my mind. Oh, 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 that was gonna be Oh, oh, oh. Oh, um, um, uh, uh, occupied. What the hell? Get out! I really have to go! Oh, 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 oh no, Th this isn't good. Hello! Get the hell out of there right now! Oh, oh, oh yes, I'm, I'm on my way out. Uh, just, uh, uh, just finishing up this phone call. You're whining! I'm looking at your feet! I can tell you're sitting down! Oh, oh no, so sweet Jesus. Tyrone. Why are you yelling, man? What's going on? Because I really have to go to the bathroom and I can tell someone's in there just sitting down relaxing. I don't think anyone's in there. We're all out here talking and your grandma's boyfriend went somewhere to go make a phone call. No, someone is in there. I can see them. Okay, stop looking under the door. That's weird. Just try knocking. Hey! Who the hell is in there? Are you pooping? Oh, oh no. Oh, no. 
Okay, hold on. One, two, three. Four. Yeah, we're all out here. Hey, Officer Leonard, is that you in there? Oh no. Uh um no, it's not me. Um it's La Boogie. What the hell? Get out of there, Waboogie! Tyrone, you idiot, I'm right here. Well, this is confusing as else. Now I'm just getting angry. Tyrone, my sweet baby, it's okay. Don't be angry. No, I'm getting sick and dang tired of being told what I can't do. I can't use the bathroom. I can't slide down the stairs. From now on, I do whatever the hell I want. No, you don't. And if you slide down the stairs again, you're grounded for the rest of the year. Matthew, relax. You really could use a back massage. Don't touch me. If you do, I will rip your dentures out and throw them across the house. Yeah, Grandma, I'm getting sick of you too. And it's about time I do something about Okay, everybody just relax, and whoever is in that bathroom, just come out already! Oh, oh no, this isn't good. Uh, this toilet is very clogged. Oh no, I, I think I'm feeling a second wave coming on. Oh. Ah! I can't see! Ah! Holy smokes, what the hell happened?! Oh! Ah! What was that? What just happened? I have to go- Oh! Gross! Why the hell did you have my grandma's dentures in your hand? Why are you on the floor under that basket? Oh my gosh, mother! Oh no. Not again. Oh no, my, my sweet Marjorie. What happened to her? I don't know. But it doesn't look good. Do you think she's alive? No. I don't. Okay, someone in here is guilty as hell, and I'm gonna find out who is responsible for my grandma not being alive anymore. Tyrone, you're not a cop. I'm not just gonna sit here and listen to you accuse us. <laughs> oh! You don't have my permission to speak. Okay, that's it. You slap me one more time. Uh, we're gonna uh, see uh, no, you, you, you sit down. And now look at you, about to commit an, another terrible crime. D don't, don't, don't you move so fast, or I will tase you. <laughs> If you even touch my daddy, I'll put you so far under the ground, you'll have to jump to high-five the devil. Oh, oh my. Well, well, Boogie, that's awfully aggressive of you. Maybe you're the one who did it. No, it couldn't have been me. Tyrone, you don't make any sense. Well then, allow me to break it down for you. I know this is exactly how you did it. So there you were, just staring at me, full of jealousy, watching me have the time of my wife sliding down the stairs, and you know you could never be as cool as me. Tyrone, shut up. What are you saying? You've always hated my grandma. You would do things like break her wheelchair, or throw her around the house, or beat her up. Just your face alone screams guilty. Tyrone, I wouldn't do anything that stupid. You're terrible at this. Oh, am I? Or are you just getting nervous because you're going to prison? <gasps> oh no, my baby! Babe, please don't fall into his ridiculous little story. Hey, you, th th this here is your final war warning, or it's Tay's time. I know exactly how you did it. It was obvious when you friend her. Yeah, Grandma, I'm getting sick of you too, and it's about time I do something about it. Then you snuck around the corner with an evil house grin, broke into the circuit breakers, cut the power to the whole house, then in the chaos when nobody could see, you snuck up behind my grandma, and that's when you chose to strike. Boom! And that's it. Wipes out grandma. Ah! Wow! I never saw that coming! Wow, this is getting good. This is literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Okay, that's it, Tyrone. You're done. I'm not just gonna sit here while you blame your little sister oh, for some of oh, this. Oh, ah! ah! Alright, man. Ah, what was that? Well, seriously, what are we doing here? We're getting to the bottom of this. That's what the hell we're doing. Well, Tyrone. How do we know it wasn't you, huh? Because it wasn't. Oh, sure. You just couldn't resist sliding down the stairs, huh? So you snuck off, cut the lights out, slid down the stairs in the dark, crashing into your grandma, taking her out in the process. Man, that sounds fun. Now I wish I did do that. Sliding down the stairs in the dark would be a blast. But no, that's not what happened. I was standing at the bottom of the stairs when the lights went out and someone grabbed my sweat and threw it at me, knocking me over. Okay, well, you know what? Officer Lenard, this has gone on long enough. No one knows what happened to her. Can you please just call someone to come get her body so we can pay our final respects? Uh, th this house is an active crime scene. I, I mean, just look at her over there. My, my sweet Marjorie no longer breathing. Okay, well, you know what? She was pretty old, like deep into her 90s, so it could be natural. Hmm, spoken like a true guilty criminal. 
Tyrone, don't. Oh no, I think I just might have cracked a case. It was you all along. I mean, it was obvious. There you were, trying to get everyone to weave her behind. You were so desperate, you even friended her. Can't we just knock her out and then while she's asleep, we take off? Okay, stop. Tyrone, I was mostly joking. That doesn't prove anything. Oh yeah? Well, how do you explain your other friend? Don't touch me. If you do, I will rip your dentures out and throw them across the house. And then the crazy thing is, after you cut the power, you were standing there mysteriously holding her dentures in your hand. <gasps> oh my gosh, babe, how could you? Okay, yeah, I can admit, that, that looks pretty bad, but I'm telling you, somebody must have put those dentures in my hand. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, guys, that's not what happened here. Um, uh, freeze. You are under uh, arrest. Come on, man, let's think for a second here, please. Uh, don't, don't you move. Uh, I need backup ASAP. Uh, we have an active criminal on the prowl for his next victim. Really? You're calling backup on me? All right! Who is it? Which one of you scumbag perpetrators is coming with me straight to jail? Don't worry, officer. We've officially cracked the case. The person who committed this horrendous crime was Matthew. What? He's right there. Get him, book him, throw his ass in jail. You're coming with me right now. Wait a second. Wait, can, can't we just talk about this? There is no talking, you criminal scumbag. You bag of scum. Yeah, get his crusty, stink, raggedy ass up out of here. Walk his ass up. Tyrone, you're lying. I just know you're somehow behind this, and that cop better not touch my daddy. Is that a fret, Woboogie? Were you working together with your stank dad to take out my grandma? No, but now I'm thinking you're next for blaming my daddy. Listen here, Waboogie. That dirty war wife criminal did the crime, now he does the time. Shh, it's okay, Waboogie. Tyrone, stop. You're upsetting your baby sister. Well, I don't really give an owl's wake if she's upset or not. Yeah, and maybe she wouldn't be upset if my sweet Marjorie was still breathing. Again, we don't know what happened to Marjorie, so please, stop being so accusatory. And if Nothing makes my booty itch worse worse than you disgusting criminals. I'm sick of hearing your terrible excuses. You're coming with me straight to prison. Okay, you know what? Don't get comfortable in jail, daddy. Me and Zia will get you out. Where the hell do you think you're going, Waboogie? To wake up my baby sister. We're gonna break my daddy out of jail. You're a dirty criminal. That's another crime you just admitted to. Then she's going to jail too. Okay, you're not taking my baby to jail. Uh, you, you better not move too fast or otherwise it's tase time. Okay, please don't tase me. Just take me to jail and leave my family alone. Then I'm taking you to jail right now. Okay, then just do it already. I'm not resisting. He's not resisting because he's guilty as hell. No, Tyrone, I'm not resisting because I think this is all stupid and I think your grandma died of natural causes. That, that, that's it? It's tase time. <laughs> oh, okay, come on. Please, what are you doing? I literally said I will just go to jail. Okay, everybody stop! It just dawned on me. There's one person who hasn't been accused that might be the guiltiest of them all. Officer Lenard! It all makes perfect sense. First, he tried to distract us by leaping into the house through the window. Tell him to come through the front door. Okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> oh, he's already in the house. Then, he made up an excuse about making a phone call and snuck off and nobody knows what he was really doing. Oh, I do. Oh, 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 that was gonna be later. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, who the hell is in there? Oh, sure, that's what you want us to believe, but I know what you did. You snuck away from the family, ran up to the circuit breakers and shut off the power. Then, in the pitch black, you hit my mother in the head, taking her life. Then, you put her dentures in Matthew's hand to frame him. Then, when you tried to run back, you tripped over Tyrone's laundry basket, and in a fit of rage, you threw it at him. Holy smokes! Uh, uh, no, 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 uh, that, uh, that, that's not true. Uh, that actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, but babe, what would be his motive for doing that, right? Like, I, don't get me wrong, I know your mom is annoying, but why would he want her dead? Because he knew the restaurant that we were going to, her ex is the chef! Uh, 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 Holy moly, the poor thickens! 
Officer Leonard, you're a jealous man. Don't think I haven't noticed. Uh, but but your one major flaw is, is that n none of that is true. Oh, I think you and I both know that it is. And you framed Matthew because you're jealous at how much he flirts with my mom. Okay, first of all, your mom flirts with me. I would never entertain her. And secondly, Officer Leonard, you're looking real guilty right now. Yeah, why are you all sweaty and greasy again? Only because I'm nervous and, and, and embarrassed? Well, what do you have to be nervous and embarrassed about if none of that is true? Well, well, you see, the, the truth is that when I stepped away from the family when I got here, it's because I was in the bathroom. I knew someone was in there relaxing. I could see your feet. Oh, I wasn't relaxing. You see, uh, I accidentally had a shot of espresso, uh, some shrimp alfredo, and a gallon of eggnog before I got here. Uh, so, so needless to say, your toilet is very clogged. I, I mean, it all came pouring over the porcelain edge. Oh, come on, man. I, I mean, I didn't want to have to tell you. I was hoping I could just leave it in there and you guys wouldn't notice until tomorrow when I'm not here. See, man, this is why I don't like when you come over. You never use the door. I've had to replace like three different windows and now this? Man, I really hope you're lying. Tyrone, go check the bathroom and see if it's really clogged. Okay, hold up, I'll be right back. Ah! What the? Uh, ew! Holy smokes! Uh, it's true! There's brown butt juice all over the floor in there! Ah! That's disgusting! Yeah, you're not allowed over here anymore. Well, at least now you know I'm, I'm telling the truth. Uh, so so th there's, there's no way I could have attacked Marjorie. Now that we have all that cleared up, Matthew, get in the back of my police car and you have the right to remain silent! See you, wake up! I need your help! They're arresting our daddy! Daddy? Yes, our daddy is in trouble and he needs us! Well, well, well. Okay, what I'm saying is, you and I are gonna break daddy out of jail! Somebody set him up! Daddy! Yes, now let's go! I'll go. Yes, that's what I'm telling you! You go with me! Listen, this is serious! We have to find a way down to the jail, break in, take out the guards, and... <laughs> See you. what's that smell? Did you poop your diaper? <laughs> Ew, come on, Zia, that stinks. I don't even know how to change a diaper. This isn't a game, and this is no laughing matter. We already know you did it. Just tell us why. I didn't do anything. It's actually crazy that you guys have me down here with no proof. You disgusting criminals are so obvious, I don't need proof. Uh I believe what he's trying to say is that is that we care about you deeply and we want you to know that, that we're your friends. Officer Leonard, it's a little late to try this good cop, bad cop thing. It's not going to work. You know what, Matthew? Uh, there, there's this new chicken restaurant down the road. Uh, do, do, uh, do you like chicken sandwiches? Yeah, I guess they're good. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, no worries. I, I'll be right back. Okay. That was freaking weird. Can I please talk to somebody who's in charge? You guys got me down here. Ah! Oh! Hey! We'll ah. be asking all of the questions around here. We're in charge. I'm in charge. That's what the hell I just said. We're in charge. Tyrone, stop. You're not a cop. And if you slap me again, that hand's going to come up missing. Oh, another fret. Well, would you look at that? Once a criminal, always a criminal. This guy is the worst of them all. All right, guys. This is stupid, and I mean that with all disrespect. If you disrespect me, that's another crime! That is not a crime. I'm actually convinced you don't know how to be a cop. Are you trying to tell me how to do my job? I eat criminals like you for breakfast, and newsflash, bucko, I'm starving! Wow, you're terrible at threats, too. Oh, is that right? You don't like his threats? Well, you're really not gonna like this. Before we left, I went back to the crime scene. I worked at my poor dead grandma, and I could hear her spirit just begging me to get justice. Tyrone, my sweet grandbaby, get justice for me. So you know what the hell I did? I dusted for fingerprints to find a killer, and by golly, Matthew, your fingerprints were all over the crime scene. I knew it. Wow, shocker, Tyrone. But heads up, I live there. It's my house. Of course my fingerprints are all over the place. Admission of guilt. No, I'm not admitting anything. I didn't do it. 
I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it took me so long, but uh, but, but I'm back. I, I hope I didn't miss anything. Nope. But the perpetrator is still whining and pretending he didn't do it. I think it's time we let him know what the electric chair feels like. No, 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 nah, nah, come on, guys. Uh, let, let's all just relax. Uh, here, Matthew, uh, I know you must be hungry. I, I bought you a, a delicious chicken sandwich to, uh, to help you relax. And maybe you could tell us how you went about committing the crime. You're really trying to bribe me with a chicken sandwich? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want any chicken sandwich. And even if I did do it, it would take a lot more than that to get me to confess. Now, what I do want is to be let up out of here. Oh no, I think you must be mistaken. You're not getting out of jail. We already know how you did it. Now, now, now just go, go ahead and tell me where I'm wrong. So, so there you were sitting on the couch watching, watching a movie nestled up next to my sweet Marjorie. Nope. Wrong already. You were upset that all of your flirting was being turned down and she wasn't feeling you. So so you invited everyone to go out to dinner at a fancy restaurant? All right, come on family. We're all going out to eat and it's gonna be a very fancy restaurant. And there, I will profess my love for Marjorie. I knew it! This crusty house man has the hots for my grandma! Tyrone, stop! This is obviously a fake scenario. Oh no, but it doesn't stop there. You see, th this is where it really becomes a, a crime of passion. It, he, he was so jealous that she was inviting me, her real boyfriend. Hey, Officer Leonard, you tall glass of steamy hot mocha? Your muscles are so big and you're so strong. I'm personally inviting you to dinner with us. What? No, Marjorie, why would you invite him? No, really, Marjorie, I only want you at this dinner with me. And I want to sit next to you and hold your hand. And, dare I say it, quite possibly you and I can share a fork. Okay, that's disgusting. First of all, Officer Leonard, I would never say any of that to Marjorie. And secondly, hey, you cut him off again. I'll break every bone in your body, starting with every bone in your face by me punching it. Yeah, who the hell do you think you are? Oh. Now, as I was saying, there Matthew was, just standing there looking at me with his eyes full of jealousy. Hey, Officer Leonard, I hate your face. And I want you to know that you're not invited to dinner with us. Well, my girlfriend Marjorie says otherwise. I isn't that right, sugar? That's right, sugar! Okay, so that's how it's gonna be? If I can't have Marjorie, nobody can have Marjorie. Hey, everyone, I have to go make a quick phone call. I I'll be right back. And that's when he chose to strike. As soon as I left the room, he, he, he snuck around the corner with an evil grin, went straight up to the circuit breakers, and cut the power. Psst. Hey, Marjorie, I wish you were all mine and you weren't with that super cool guy, Officer Leonard. But since you're not with me and you're with him, I guess it's lights out. Okay, that's it. I can't listen to this anymore. You guys are making a huge mistake, and you need to let me go. Why the hell would we do that? Yeah, what makes you think I would let scum like you back out into the world? Because my daughters, Lubuvi and Zia, will be coming for me, and it might already be too late for you. What's that supposed to mean? It means my daughters don't like when anybody messes with me, so you might be in some serious danger. I'm so sorry this has happened to you, Mother. I will figure out who did this, I promise. But first, I need to get the girls so we can go free Matthew. Girls! Girls, we gotta go! Your daddy needs our help! It's time to wake up, Zia! So I just wanna make sure you understand what we have to do and who we're saving. Daddy! Yes, good, daddy! Uncle. No, wait, 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 wait! Okay, we have to be strategic about this. So I have two ideas. Come on, girls! I think your dad is innocent. I just don't know how to prove it. And your brother Tyrone's only making it worse by... Wait, wait a second. What is this? My evil plan. Wait until nobody is looking, cut out the lights, then attack. Put dentures in Matthew's hand to frame him. <gasps> it was a setup against Matthew all along. I knew it. That means the killer is still free. Probably with him right now! <gasps> Girls! Girls, we 
We gotta go now! Okay, Zia, this is it. We can either sneak into the jail calmly or bust up in there punching and kicking anyone in our way. There's a million ways to break someone out of jail. How should we get him? Um, um, hey, Officer Winard, what in the hot hickory house do you think you're doing? I'm, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Tyrone. You know what the hell I'm talking about. I mean, look at this. You guys have this poor man over here handcuffed against his will. Well, I... I no, I won't stand for this injustice any longer. Tyrone, what are you doing? I'm just trying to help you get the justice you deserve, buddy. Nah, nah, what's with the sudden change of heart? Psh, change of heart? Matthew, you poor, sweet, innocent soul, you. God bless you and your lineage for a thousand summers. <laughs> Man, keep your hand off my face, it stinks! This man isn't innocent, he's a low-down, dirty criminal, and I'll see to it that he rots in prison for killing that poor old woman! Hey! Don't you say that about my client! He's a poor, innocent man, and I'll fight till my last breath to see that he is free! Then you're just as guilty! Tumrung, first of all, you're not my lawyer. Secondly, you're switching up because you're scared, huh? Huh? What? M me? Scared? No, no, no way. Why, 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 no, come on, why the hell would I be, be scared? Because deep down, you know your sisters are coming for me, and you don't want to face their wrath. Hey, you're treating me like it's my fault you're walked up. You were the main person accusing me. Hell no, that was stink, crusty, old geriatric owls Officer Winard. Oh, while I do believe Matthew is the criminal responsible for the death of my sweet Marjorie, uh, Tyrone, you were the one yelling for us to arrest him. Hell no, you're a Wire. I was saying he's innocent. He's innocent. Let him go. That's not how I remember it. The person who committed this horrendous crime was Matthew. He's right there. Get him, book him, throw his ass in jail. Yeah, get his crusty, stink, raggedy ass up out of here. Walk his ass up. Okay, I, I, I uh, that, that, see that I, I, I would that, that, that I wasn't even that. It's too late, Tyrone. Give up the act. As a matter of fact, it's too late for all of you. You guys messed up the moment you decided to upset La Boogie at my house. Uh, so, so, so you mean to tell me that, that they're just gonna walk up into this police station and free you? Uh, they're not even gonna make it past the first security guard. Uh, we are, are all highly trained elite officers. Yeah, I've seen these girls do some serious damage. And trust me, they're not worried about some crooked cops. Oh man. Well, Matthew, they're not going to come after me because they know that I've I've always been a good big brother. No, you haven't. Just the other day, your sister said she wanted some donuts, and you got upset that you had to share, so you slammed the entire box in her face. No! You weren't there for that! I remember exactly how it happened. Mmm, delicious donuts. I love them so much. The only sad part is I have no one to enjoy them with. Hey, Tyrone, I love donuts. I would love to have some with you. Oh, joy. God bless you, Waboogie. Have as many as you'd like. Yeah, right. Lie to yourself as much as you want, Tyrone. It's not going to save you from them. Oh, no. Oh, man. All I know is, if your criminal family breaks up in here and releases you, that is a crime. And I'll make sure that they regret it. I can't believe it. I have hard proof that someone set up your daddy. He's an innocent man being framed. Let's go. Mommy. Yes, Zia, my sweet baby. I'll go. Yes, baby, we all go. Now, come on. Wait, Mommy, we have to come up with a plan. Me and Zia have been working on one. Ah, I'm freaking out. Pull yourself together. W what if they already have him in general population? Your daddy's not built for prison. Criminals, shanks, slippery soap. Ah, I can't take it. Mommy. Yes, Zia, I'm sorry. Uh, what is it? A poker? <laughs> poker? What? Zia, this is no time for jokes. Your daddy needs us. Yeah, that's why you need to hear our plan that we came up with to free my daddy. And I think I want to start by punching Tyrone's face off since this is all his fault. Wait, girls, I just came up with a brilliant idea. We come up with a plan and sneak in and free your dad. I just said that. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. The killer is most likely with your dad as we speak, so we have to move cautiously. The plan is, we'll sneak up, then attack. First, I'll walk into the building pretending to be lost and confused. I'll ask the first guard a question, then, when he's distracted by answering my question, I'll strike, taking him out. Then, Laboogie, you can leap in from around the corner doing a flying superhero punch or something and taking out the other two guards. And then, 
That should clear the way for Zia to come in, running through with the keys to unlock the door, setting your daddy free. No offense, Mommy, but that plan sucks. Hello, Me and Zia have a much better idea. You can walk in doing what you do, but I will walk in disguised as a trash can so I can easily sneak up on the guards. Zia will be in the air vents to provide an unexpected attack from above. Once we've cleared out all the guards, we'll kick the door into the room that they have my daddy held in. I'll whoop Tyrone so bad, I'll knock him back to the year Grandma was born, and then- Wait a second, wait a second, we're forgetting one big problem. We can't outpower the big cop. I mean, he's like the size of every member of our family combined. Nah, I can beat him up. What we will do is we'll outsmart him. After we've cleared out all the other guards, I'll take one of their walkie-talkies and call in a fake code. When he comes out of the room, I'll hit him in the face, knocking him out. Oh yeah, this plan is beautiful. I could sing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right, sing it, baby. Don't worry, mother. We will get justice for you. Well, it's nights like this when I'm reminded why I need a vacation. Why is that? Because my girlfriend's nagging at me every day. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I think she's cheating on me with her husband again. Yeah, wait, what? Hey fellas, I I'm so sorry to intrude, but can you help me with some directions? Hey, where are your credentials? You don't have authorization to be here. I know, that's the thing. I, I really need your help finding something. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but whatever you're looking for, you're in the wrong place. Yeah, what do you need help finding anyway? Oh, nothing much really, it's... Just my fist into your face! Okay, girls, I'm in the building. Yeah, you're late to the party, Mom. Zia's already in the vents, and we've taken out a few guards. We're on the other side of the building, and we should meet you at the room where my daddy is. Wait, hold up. Trouble! So there I was putting gas in my car, right? Right. Then I realized it's an electric vehicle. Ah, uh, don't you hate when that happens? Yeah. Last week it was peanut butter. This week it's gasoline. Yeah. That's when you just have to... Wait a second. How did that trash can get here? You big dummy. That trash can's always been here. Oh. Must be my imagination. Well, anyway, as I was saying, that's when you have to... Ah! Man, what's that smell? Sorry, I took my hat off for a second. Man, you should really get that checked out. Oh, don't worry. It's common. One in every two people suffer from sour cap syndrome. Where'd you get those statistics? Hey guys, I'm so sorry to bother you, but- Hey! You're not authorized to be here. Let me see your access badge. Oh yeah, sure thing. I have it right here. In my pocket! <laughs> Man, the supervisor is really getting on my nerves lately, I tell ya. Why is that? Because he keeps writing me up for falling asleep on the job and eating other people's lunches out of the fridge. It's ridiculous. Well, are you falling asleep and eating other people's lunches? Yes, but here's the thing. He's unreasonable. I'm human. I need rest and I need to eat. Last week, when I told you that someone ate my lasagna, was that you? Uh, well, you, you know, I'm, you know, it's, it's like, I, I, come, I mean, come on, I'm, 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 I'm ah! Oh, perfect timing! Here you girls are! Yeah, now let's get in there and save my daddy! Daddy? Wait, girls! That big cop, remember? Stand back while I get rid of him. Oh, suddenly you're real quiet and you don't have anything to say! There's nothing left to say. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the show. I'm about to leave. Oh, I beg to differ. You see this? Oh no. Oh man. They're here. Uh, Echo Squadron, we've got a Tango bogey with an Alpha Rupture. Oh no! I'll be right back. One of my fellow officers needs my help. You know what, Officer Winard? Maybe you did have it all wrong. I mean, as I walk into Matthew's eyes, I can tell that he's innocent. Uh, no, Tyrone, you're wrong. And now I'm beginning to think you were both in on this together? No! Honestly, nobody knows what happened to Grandma Marjorie. Hey, Matthew, do you think maybe you could tell Wabuki and Zia that this was all a misunderstanding and that you and me are good? Huh? Well, what do you say, player? Tyrone, I don't think I've ever seen you this scared before. I'm not scared. I'm, I'm just... 
I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm, uh, um, uh, Matthew, I, I'm just gonna go check on my other officers, and then, and then when I get back, uh, we're taking you to your prison cell, and if you try to fight against it, it it's taste. <laughs> ah, Matthew, good, we found you. You're not gonna believe this, but I found proof that you were set up. Let's get you out of here and go home. Daddy. Yeah, and that's for you, Tyrone. Come here, I want to talk to you. Ah! Holy shit! Wow, Jada. I can't believe you girls really pulled that off. Yeah, I have to admit, the story was getting juicy with a lot of plot twists, but you being labeled as the killer was the most shocking. But once I found the letter, I knew that they had the wrong person in handcuffs. Yeah, but if none of us were the killer, then we need to get back home now and search for clues. Yeah, but I have a feeling the killer is still inside the house! This is crazy, because we obviously can't trust the police, so we have to go back and handle it ourselves, otherwise- You are all criminals! I can't let you get away with this! Oh no. Officer Leonard, get out from in front of the car! Yeah, seriously, move! You don't want us to do to you what we did to my brother, do you? Isn't that right, Tyrone? Officer Leonard, don't make me do this, man. No, your whole family are, are criminals. And now, 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 this is my final warning. Or oh, otherwise, it's Tay's time for, for all of you. Don't threaten my kids. L last chance, Matthew. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna count down from five. Oh no, babe. I think he might actually do it. Five, uh, four, uh, th uh, three. Everybody, hold on. Uh, two, one. Ah! I don't get it. Who would break into our house just to redecorate the place? I don't know, but it's completely different. They replaced the couch and everything. Hmm, babe. This is getting very suspicious. I think- ah! yeah, Matthew! Uh, th th this isn't over between, uh, between you and me? Everyone go into another room. This is gonna get a little violent. You, you can't beat me in a battle of fisticuffs. Your bones are gonna break. You're not ready. Oh, oh. See, see, see I, I told you. Okay, let's go. Your, your, your punches uh, barely even phase me. Oh, is that right? Is that why? You're... Oh, oh, oh. Doing, man, you were my mother in law's boyfriend. We're basically family. Get off! Oh, okay. Let, let's see if you can dodge this. What is that? Yeah, I, I see you don't you don't like pepper spray. Uh, well, 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 have another dose. <laughs> That's it! Oh no! Babe! Come here! Hurry! What is it? What happened? Her body is gone! Uh, somebody took my mother! What the hell is going on? No, this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. Maybe the killer's still somewhere inside the house. Babe! Look out behind you! <gasps> what the? How? Ah! My mother is a ghost! It's alright everybody, calm down. I'm not dead. Marjorie, what is going on? The truth is, the killer was me the whole time. <gasps> mother! Why would you fake that? What's the point? Well, you see, I wrote my plan down so I wouldn't forget it, but I lost the paper somewhere. But I knew we were going to the restaurant that my ex works at, and I didn't want Officer Lennard to have to eat a meal prepared by the ex. You know, there's no telling what he might do to it. So you decided to fake your death? It was the only way I knew for sure that we wouldn't go to the restaurant. Marjorie, you could have just said you didn't want to go. You didn't have to do all of this and frame me. Yeah, right, Matthew. I knew you wanted to hang out with me, so I did what I had to do. I waited till nobody was looking, snuck around the corner with an evil grin, broke into the circuit breakers, 
cut the power to the house. Then, in the pitch black when nobody could see, I placed the dentures in Matthew's hand to frame him. But on my way back, I tripped over Tyrone in his laundry basket. But then I pretended to be dead. Now, that's how it went. But Matthew... I never expected you to actually go to jail. You're unbelievable. Babe, your mom has to move out. But mother, that doesn't explain what happened in the office and all the new furniture. Well, you see, I figured since Matthew was going to be in jail for a while, I might as well make this place my own. So I decided to redecorate. Oh, well, Mar Marjorie, I, I wish you would have said all of this much s sooner. Grandma, you idiot. Come here. It's Tay's time. <laughs> <laughs>